Today on the Heritage Trail, we take a trip back in time as we visit with both Blue and Gray, the reenactors of the Great American War Between the States. The Battle of Perryville, Kentucky has long been the forgotten battle of the Civil War. Fought October 8, 1862, the battle finalized Confederate General Braxton Bragg's famous Kentucky invasion with a tactical victory for the Confederacy. But the eventual retreat set the stage for the end of the year battle at Stones River outside of Murfreesboro, Tennessee. When we return to the Heritage Trail, we'll meet some of the thousands of reenactors who helped keep the memory of Perryville alive and well. My first event was here in 1976, so this is my 30th year. And uh, got into reenacting because I went to this guy's house to buy a drum set, and he had a musket hanging over the wall beside the drum set. We started talking about that, and I ended up buying a musket instead of the drum set. So, and uh, just a few weeks later, I came here, and that's how I got started and got hooked. Been doing it ever since. Hi, my name's Dan Dill from Murfreesboro, Tennessee. I've been doing this a relatively short time compared to my partner there. About 10 years I think I've been doing this. Okay, my name is Captain John Stick. Uh, I'm with the 5th Kentucky Infantry. And uh, I've gotten involved in reenacting because it's, it's uh, something <laughs> I like doing. The, uh, I got involved back in 1987 with my first event here at Perryville. Uh, everybody in the unit has got a love of history. We all like uh, doing different things for historical locations and one of the main reasons that, that uh, I'm involved in it is so that we can help raise money and preserve some of our historical sites throughout the state. Uh, most all the events I go to has some type of a fundraising aspect to it, uh, either to buy more battlefield property like here at Perryville or to help restore a house or, or whatever the, uh, the site might have. It's, it's usually centered around fundraising, preserving that uh, historical site. The other aspect of it is we have a good time. My name is Adam Carnahan. I'm from Zionsville, Indiana with the 24th Tennessee Company C Volunteer Infantry. I got into this about five years ago from a friend of mine who had, who I always wondered why he had weird clothes in his house. And Well, I asked him and then he sort of just got me into it and doing it ever since. And, I'm Dan Peterson from uh, Buffalo, Minnesota, in the second Minnesota, the premier reenacting unit in Minnesota, of course. Uh, I've been in reenacting uh, Civil War for about five years, and I've had a lifelong history in Civil War. I started reenacting about seven years ago. Uh, my dad got me into it. We're at uh, Perryville, Kentucky, having much fun. I'm Paul Richardson. This is my son, Paul Ryan Richardson. Both these guys are quarter horses. He actually got me into the reenactment. He's a Civil War buff, and I just I enjoy it too now, but, but he's who actually got me started. Um, my name's Wendell Froge. I'm from Plainfield, Indiana. I got into reenacting whenever I was 12 because of my Uncle Tim. I'm 15 now. My birthday was last Friday, or last Wednesday. I come from St. Louis, Missouri. I'm with the 10th Missouri Cavalry, and uh, this is my horse, Buddy. We've been doing this probably about 10 years. To be our fourth time coming back here to Perryville, and uh, we just come to these things to try and bring back the memories of all the men that died out here on the battlefield. I got into reenacting myself because of my family that fought in the war, and uh, I wanted I started researching them, and uh, I liked what I saw, and I wanted to be able to keep that. Memory. Reenacting to me is is it gets funner every year because it's just more people getting involved, learning about the history of our country and why it's so unique and what happened in this country many, many years it's, ago. It's not a, a cheap hobby, but it's definitely a hobby that's, uh, that's worthwhile if you're into history or uh, keeping history alive. It's, it's definitely something for you. The pure scope of the Perryville reenactment is overwhelming. With over 5,000 participants, including infantry, cavalry, and full-scale artillery, there are also many camp followers, living history reenactors and settlers to make this national event something unforgettable once you've had the experience. <laughs> 